people, what a monkey in the house. Gonna give you something very special. Nothing to do with the trail today. Everything to do with Super Bowl and having something really awesome to snack on. Water Monkey's famous chicken quesadillas. That's all I'm talking about. Water Monkey's famous chicken quesadillas. It's a six year recipe that I've held very secret for quite some time. Now it's time to give it out to the world. Now, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna show you the ingredients in a few minutes. There's few ingredients you just cannot deviate from, or else you're just not gonna have a kick ass quesadilla. It's honey badger quality because it's kick ass, badass, water monkey, gangster chicken quesadillas. So, let's go into the ingredients and I'll show you how to make it. All right, here are the ingredients. I doubled it up because I usually make a lot of quesadillas. So, right here we have two red bell peppers, chopped. One huge, large, white onion, chopped. And we have about two, two and a quarter pounds of thin sliced chicken breast, marinated, and this is key, this is one you can't deviate from. Mrs. Dash, marinade, Southwestern Chipotle. Marinated for about 10 hours, probably a little longer. Four. Pound of one, two, three, four limes and two jalapeno peppers. And I'll show you how to prepare those jalapeno peppers in a minute. Ten flour tortillas, which will make five quesadillas. Granulated garlic and ground cumin. And of course, the old salt and pepper mix. Things you can't deviate from. Obviously, I said it before. Southwest, Southwestern Chipotle from Mrs. Dash. That's key, very key. Red peppers, don't use green. They're not gonna be the same, trust me. White onions, don't use a yellow onion, don't use the red onion. White onion, don't deviate. Limes, I'm not talking about that crazy lime juice you squeeze out of that plastic container. Screw that shit. Straight up limes, baby. These jalapeno peppers, you can deviate. If you don't want to use them, don't use them, that's fine. Granulated garlic, I seem, this seems to be the best for me. Real garlic, eh, you know, I, I tend to, this seems to be the thing for me. If you want to deviate, that's fine. I don't think it's gonna screw up the recipe too much. All right, let's get into some cooking. So I threw in about, uh, I don't know, about a little bit more than a tablespoon of canola oil into my stir fry pan throw in probably about a few pinches of salt four turns on the pepper get it all mixed up in there and we're going to start out with the chicken so you want to have the pan at medium high heat chicken in there. Now you want to cook the chicken, that will thoroughly cook because you're going to add some more ingredients later and you want all the juices to kind of melt together. So just so they're partially cooked. That's going to take about between five and eight minutes. So I'm going to shut this off and I'm going to give you a chance to look at it while it's just about ready to roll and throwing in some other ingredients. All right, this baby's starting to look a little firm. Starting to get to the consistency that I want. Basically, it's starting to get firm, but it's not fully cooked, which is what I want. So now you're gonna throw in half the onions. That's about half. Half of the bell peppers. You're going to throw in about about a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half garlic and probably two teaspoons of cumin. I don't like too much cumin. It kind of overpowers the taste a little bit. So you mix it up nice and good. Uh, so it's starting to smell glorious. Yeah, baby. I 
again, so I'm making two batches of this. So that's why you see a lot of ingredients. Now here's where it's gonna get key. And I didn't show you because I'm trying to save some time. I took the magic bullet and I put the I cut up the two jalapeno peppers and I pureed the crap out of them. I like my quesadillas a little on the hot side, so I'm gonna put one, two big spoonfuls. Jalapeno peppers. Mix that bad boy in there. Mixed up nice and good. Oh yeah. Let's start. Go. Alright, now for the really good ingredient. Move the camera back for that one. Now, you want to take your limes, cut them in half. When you take it off the heat, Squeeze those juices all up in there. This is going to give it a nice flavor there. And if you have any cuts in your hands, it's probably going to stink. It's two full limes. Get it all up in there. That's nice. And you put it back on the heat, set it for uh, medium, medium low, and let that simmer in the lime juice for probably around, probably 10 minutes or so. And all the different ingredients are gonna combine, come up with a glorious taste. You sit there and you think about what you've done for 10 minutes, son. <laughs> All right, when it's done, I'll show you what we're going to do with the rest. All right, so after about, I think it was about seven minutes, I turned up the heat a little bit to speed up the process. You get this soupy mixture. You just want to dump that in your strainer. Get everything kind of. All the juices kind of flow away. Give it about, I don't know, about 10 minutes. And I'm going to make the second batch, pour it in here, and then we'll break out the quesadilla maker, and I'll show you how I put it all together, baby. Holla! All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is my quesadilla press. Picked it up at, where was it? I think it was Kohl's for like 30 bucks. You plug it in and it turns green, it's ready to start doing its thing. So while it's heating up, what uh, you should do is spray it down with a little Pam canola oil so nothing sticks. I will admit that when you're done, cleaning this thing is a bit of a pain in the ass. But you know what it produces is deliciousness, so. You can learn to deal with that. So, I'll let that thing prep, and let's prep one of the quesadillas. All right, here are our flour tortillas, burrito size, biggest size you can find. We're gonna layer this with two different types of cheese. First layer is gonna be mozzarella cheese. Why? I think it uh, helps hold everything together. Nice little thin layer all over that. Then you add your quesadilla mix. Now you don't want to add too much because too much leads to a large quesadilla and it doesn't stay together and it becomes nightmarish. I should know I've been a part of that problem right in the beginning when I first started doing these quesadillas. There we go. Spread it out nice and even. Now, four cheese Mexican. That's key right there, baby. Lay that on there. That seems like it's gonna be good. All right. Throw 
on your other bad boy, and then we'll throw this thing into the press. The light is green. Give me the go sign. Red team, go. All right, carefully place your quesadilla in the press. Jam this bitch down. Yeah, man. Now, as you make multiple quesadillas, you're probably going to need a towel because this top part, when you're trying to press it down, gets pretty hot. It's not hot that right now, so I don't need it. But, you know, when you're up for like four or five, can this thing still rocking? Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, you're going to let this thing sit until the whole thing's nice golden brown, so I'll show you when it's all done. All right, I think she's done. That's a nice golden brown. Now you're going to need these things to be a pretty firm because you know you got some good stuff in the middle so a nice dark brown is preferred over uh, you know not throw it right I'd like to throw it on some wax paper just because it makes it easier when I'm done cutting it up if it gets messy I could just throw it away and you get some uh, some innards out here that me and my fiance tend to fight over <laughs> the fried cheese so just scoop that out with a nice fork. And you're gonna let that sit for a little bit, let it cool off so everything kind of melts together. And then we'll cut it up, put it in the dish, and then start the other batches. Alright, it seems pretty sturdy. Cheese is firmed up a little bit. I originally, this is a different quesadilla. I thought I hit play on the first quesadilla, but uh, I was mistaken. So Take a pizza cutter, seems to be the best way to do it. I mean, if you have a knife, use a knife, but pizza cutter seems to be the way to go for me. And the press actually has uh, sections in it. So it basically lines out where you're supposed to be cutting with the quesadillas. Again, I can't stress enough how you want the, uh, the outer shell to be uh, a darker brown and very firm because you do have uh, things in the middle of this and if you don't and I've made the mistake where I just was like a light brown or like almost a white uh, the case of these do not stick together and you have yourself a travesty so here we go one of those tres cuatro cinco seis seis quesadillas very nice right look at that look at that deliciousness look at all that good stuff in the middle I'm gonna put these in the tray and when all of the, these things are done I'll show you what everything looks like and do a taste test here it is, in all its glory. Water Monkey's kick-ass quesadillas. The honey badger recipe. Alright, let's go for the taste test. I like mine with some uh, salsa. A little salsa on there. Oh my god. Water Monkey's quesadillas rocks my mouth. Take that any way you want. <laughs> uh, it's good. I'm going to finish this bad in a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed this series on how to make something pretty uh, pretty different for the upcoming Super Bowl uh, battles, whoever it may be. I don't know right now. My fiance is watching the New England Patriots versus the Baltimore Ravens right now. I'm going to go join her in a little bit. So that's basically how I make my quesadillas. And if, if you haven't uh, been aware, I'm hiking over 100 miles for charity. It's up on my uh, website, watermonkey.net. Uh, there's going to be, your name is entered in an automatic raffle if you donate more than $10. So please take a look. And if it's uh, if the three courses that I'm hiking for are uh, touch your heart, please donate. And equally important, I need to get the, the message out as best as possible. So if you have a blog or you have you do YouTube videos, please, if, if you think my, my cause is worthy, shoot it out there. I need as much people as possible to bring attention to this event. Uh, it, I got a 100 to 1 ratio right now. Every 100 views, I get one person that actually donates. So please, I want to make this successful. So again, thanks again in, in advance for your donation if you choose to do it, and if you throw a video or a blog out for me. And I hope you enjoy these quesadillas. Peace.